Guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the garage. Thanks for joining me today. So today we're looking at some really cool EV chargers. This is from a company called Flogo. We're going to look at a mobile charger and then one that you would mount on the wall and that you'd keep inside of your garage. And we're gonna use these chargers with the Cybertruck here. Now guys, if you stay to the end of the video, we're gonna test out the mobile charger. We're gonna charge another Tesla with the Cybertruck. So we're gonna test out that ability. That's why it's always helpful to have one of these in your truck at all times. That way you can uh, be prepared for emergency situations. So let's look at this uh, mobile charger from Flogo. Uh, now this has the NEMA 1450 plug on it. So we can plug that into a NEMA 1450 wall outlet. We can also plug it into the Cybertruck's outlet right here in the side. So that's why this is gonna stay inside the truck at all times because this is gonna be a great solution if I need to charge another car. Wall mounted plug holder. This is where the plug would go in. We have some hardware to be able to install this. Now here is our connector to the car. This is the NACS plug, the Tesla plug. So that's way we can plug, we can plug this directly into all the Teslas. Now the nice thing with this is we have three feet of length of cord here above where the plug is. And then this length of cord here is 25 feet. So we've got quite a bit, almost 28 feet of total length if we really need to stretch somewhere. And then on here, this is really simple operation. This feels very solid. This has got a nice metal case housing to it. We can change the amperage all the way down from 16, 24, 32, and 40 amps. So the max we'll do is 40 amps. And then here with the uh, hour button, we can do a set timing charge. So two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours. It's got this nice travel case. So we can just put this down in the sub trunk here. We're gonna unbox this. This is the FlowGo. This is the 40 amp wall connector that we're gonna, that you'd mount like on the inside of your garage. We're gonna get this open, show you all the features of this, and then we'll test this out on the truck as well. We got some hardware to be able to mount this to the wall. We have a template where we're gonna have three screws. We're gonna mount that to the wall. One thing I like about this, this is probably the coolest looking wall mounted EV charger that I've ever looked at before. So I'm really excited how cool this looks. It's got this nice bright green right here where the plug's gonna hook into. This is our charging display screen. When we get this plugged into the wall, we'll be able to see everything lit up here. Here's our mounting bracket, so we'll mount this to the wall. And then we also have a similar situation here as we have the NEMA 1450 plug here. So we can just plug this into our NEMA 1450 outlet. We have three feet of cable coming from the charger box to the plug, so this is gonna give us some flexibility. And then another 25 feet of charging cord here. So that's really gonna be great for any, any garage situation. You're really gonna be able to reach to, you know, whether you have to mount this in the front or the back of the garage, you'll be able to reach to the charging port on your car. And here's our charging plug. It has a nice, this is a nice rubber cover here. So if you have to mount this outside, you can, and you can use this to help keep this uh, out of the weather like that. But this is the char This is the Tesla NACS plug, so this is Tesla specific. Now, if you have another car besides Tesla, you could use the, the, an adapter to adapt to that car. But the nice thing with this is most EV companies are going or switching to this plug style anyways in the future. So this is gonna future proof your charger that you're not gonna have to use adapters going forward. You'll be able to just use this uh, plug. This will plug directly into the car. And you won't have to worry about that. I would advise doing something like this. Get a piece of board and that way you can mount it onto the studs and then you can mount your charger to wherever you want or wherever you need it. Now my plug's right here. This is the NEMA 1450 plug. This is wired to a 50 amp breaker. So if you're looking at an electric car, make sure you get an electrician to come out to your house, wire a NEMA 1450, at least on a 50 amp breaker. You can come out and mount the charger unit right here, and then the cord will be able to come over here and plug right into there, and I'll be able to wrap my cable around here. This bracket can only be installed one way. These tabs that are facing out this way have to be facing out this way. You can't, you can't mount it really like that. So just, you mount it right here. Now screws are provided as well as wall anchors. So if you're going into dry, just drywall on some of the screws, you wanna use these anchors. I'm going into wood, so I'm just gonna use a small wood screw on all three of those to hold this up. With this bracket mounted up here, I can now bring my charger over and it's just gonna slip onto these hooks right there. So it's really easy to slip on. All right, it slipped on. That does look really cool right there. Now all I have to do is get those two little small screws and just screw the bracket into the back of the charger. And this is just gonna reach right over to the side here. We're gonna plug that in. 
we've got our screen automatically turns on. The cool thing with this screen is it will turn on as you approach it. So it's not always going to be left on. It's going to conserve energy. So it'll only be on when you approach the screen. Now with the charger plugged in, the first thing I want to do is I want to add it to my Wi-Fi and I want to download the FlowGo app. Now the app is really intuitive. It's going to give us uh, charging monitoring, remote start and stop the charger, and we can customize a charging plan. So here's what the app looks like. We're just going to download that, create an account, once you create your account, you, you want to add a charger. It automatically senses the FlowGo charger that's plugged in right now. Press and hold the Wi-Fi button for five to 10 seconds until the LED blinks green. So there's a Wi-Fi button right underneath the bottom here. I'm just gonna hold that down. Okay, the Wi-Fi is now blinking green. That means I'll be able to connect to the charger here. My Wi-Fi password, so now it's going to uh, just searching for and connecting the device. And I wanna make sure that that's still blinking green. My phone is now bound to this. We have a plug and play mode, which that's on. So that just means that I, if I, whatever car plugs into it, it'll charge. It's not gonna limit any cars. Any car that plugs in, it'll use, which if it's in my home garage, I can do that. Now down here at the bottom of the app, we have the uh, charging, this is the charging screen. Here's our statistics. We can see our charging history, uh, day, month, year. We can see exactly how many kilowatts we've used. We can add different vehicles. So I have multiple vehicles. I could add different, multiple vehicles to the app so that way I could track each vehicle independently to that. Count right here, we can go to settings. Here's where we can adjust the amperage. So it's automatically sent to 50 amps. That's my current breaker rating on this outlet. So if you have a, a lower breaker, you could set that to maybe 40 or 30 amps even. Here I can set my electricity price so it's gonna correctly give me information on how much I'm paying for charging. Uh, temperature and there's also alarm settings. So here we have the cord all wrapped around the unit here. This is the way we can store it there. We can also have the plug rest here or we have a outlet here that we can plug the cable into there and this is where the, the plug can be held inside of there. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, cord extended here and I'm gonna plug into the Cybertruck. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna test the charging speeds. Uh, we'll test out some of the app functionality while we're charging. This is nice where we have this long of a cord where I could go all the way to the back of my car. If my charging port is on the other side of the truck, I could go all the way around the other side with this long 25 foot cord. So one thing I wanna test out, if I push the button here, is this going to summons and open my charging door? Yep, it does. So this works just like the Tesla plug. So that's, that works well. It communicates very easily with the truck. Once the charging port's open and once this is white, I can just simply plug right in. It's gonna communicate and when it, starts flashing green, that means it's charging. Here on the screen, it's gonna tell us uh, how many hours and minutes we've been charging. It tells us our voltage, 240, that's good. 20 amps, now I have the truck set to charge at 20 amps at my house, so if I change that, we could, we could pump this up to, to 40 amps, so we can do that inside of the truck. All right, so here on the charging screen inside of the Cybertruck, see how I have it at 20 amps? I, can, I have that reduced down, just because I've, I don't need to charge that fast, but let's try this all the way up to, to 40. Now it looks, it looks like I can go higher than 40 amps and I don't want to exceed 40 amps because that breaker is a 50 amp breaker and I only want to charge at 40 amps. So one thing I want to do is I want to go into my settings here and I want to adjust, my, adjust this to a maximum of 40 amps. So that way the maximum will be able to charge in that outlet is 40 amps. Now if I had a 60 amp breaker, I would, I would probably want to get it up to 50 amps if I wanted a maximum charge. Now let's see how fast we're charging here at 50 amps. My truck's almost like 80%, and so it's going to charge a little bit slower here, 21 miles an hour. Uh, on on other, other Teslas, it's probably going to charge faster just because this has a really big battery. The 40 amps, and it tells us how long we've been charging here as well. All right, I'm here on the app. I just want to see under the charging screen, just kind of, it's going to give me the stats, the same thing that the screen does, so I can monitor this remotely. It's going to tell us how long, the cost, if we can put in our cost per kilowatt hour and it's gonna tell us our current amperage, voltage, and temperature. And when I'm ready to stop charging, I just push the button down, turns white, I can just pull that out, and then I can just take this back over, wind it back up, and be ready for my next charging session. I now wanna try out the mobile charging cord from FlowGo, but first I need to get inside of the Cybertruck, and I need to turn on the outlet so that the outlet in the bed is active when I plug in the mobile charger. 
So I can use this the same way I use the, uh, the, the wall mounted one in that I can just plug this right into my wall outlet and use it. But I'm gonna keep this in my truck as like a backup to like, if I ever need to charge a car, I can do it with this. And it has a nice carrying case I can do that with. I like this one that it has a nice long 25 foot cord and it's really just plug and play. All right, so with the Cybertruck here, we just open up our outlet here. This is plugged in. Light on the box here, that means the outlet is active. Let's take this over to the Model Y and we'll plug it in and see what kind of charging rates we get. All right, I'm here on my Model Y and my uh, charging outs up to 40 amps, so it can charge at 40 amps. I have my charging set at, at the maximum here and we're just seeing our charging. We're charging at 40 amps, 240 volts which is about nine kilowatts, and uh, that's pretty impressive that we can charge this car or really any, any electric car with the Cybertruck. Yeah, so here on the Cybertruck, uh, nine kilowatts is what we're charging at. So guys, what I plan to do is I plan on keeping my, th this charger, this mobile connector inside of the truck here, just in this area right here in the bag, and that way I'm gonna have this ability to charge the car, so if I need to charge my truck or charge another car with this truck, I can, I have that ability, so this is a great option for that. Now you might be thinking to yourself, which one should I buy? Should I get the wall-mounted one, or should I get the mobile connector that I can keep in the case and keep in the car? My suggestion would be to get one of each of them, so get both of them. Get the one that mounts on the wall, that's gonna be for your home use, for your daily use of charging the car, and then you can keep the mobile connector, the, the mobile charger in the trunk of your car, and you have that to charge the car if you're away from home, you need to charge somewhere, or in my case with the Cybertruck, if I need to charge another car, I have that option as well. So I'm impressed with these chargers. I like both of them. I really like the look of the wall-mounted charger. I really like the look. Uh, it's really unique. I haven't seen another one that looks like that. I think it looks really cool. Functions really well, easy to use app. I love the 25 foot long cord on both of these. So guys, if you need a charging solution for your electric vehicle, be sure to see the link to these in the description down below. Big shout out to FlowGo for partnering with us on this video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one, thanks.